Imagine being on the brink of a life-changing opportunity, only to let it slip through your fingers because you're trapped in an endless cycle of overthinking. It's like being stuck in quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. That's the destructive power of analysis paralysis, a productivity killer that's all too common in today's high-pressure world. Rooted in fear, perfectionism, and decision fatigue, analysis paralysis halts us in our tracks, costing us major opportunities in work and life. Think of John, a talented entrepreneur who missed out on a pivotal investment because he was overwhelmed with indecision. His story is a stark reminder of the profound emotional toll and the long-term ripple effects of overthinking. It's not just about the opportunities we miss, but the peace of mind we lose in the process. Overthinking doesn't just rob us of opportunities, it robs us of our peace of mind. But what's happening in our brains when we're stuck in this cycle of analysis paralysis? Well, groundbreaking neuroscience research has begun to unravel the mystery. Our prefrontal cortex, the part of our brain responsible for decision-making, can become overwhelmed by too many options, leading to a kind of mental gridlock. Meanwhile, our amygdala, the fear center of our brain, goes into overdrive, pumping out stress hormones like cortisol. This can create a kind of fear of choosing wrong that keeps us stuck in indecision. For a deeper dive, let's turn to our guest expert, a renowned neuroscientist. She explains, Analysis paralysis isn't a simple case of indecisiveness. It's a complex interplay of brain regions and hormones. Understanding these dynamics can help us devise more effective strategies to overcome it. Speaking of strategies, there's a common piece of advice we've all heard. Just do it. But this approach often backfires for chronic overthinkers. Why? Because it fails to address the root causes of analysis paralysis, fear, perfectionism, and decision fatigue. It's like trying to treat a broken leg with a band-aid. Instead, we need to tackle the issue head on. Science-backed strategies like structured reflection can help us clarify our thoughts and emotions. Setting motivating constraints can limit our options, reducing decision fatigue, and taking micro steps breaks down daunting tasks into manageable chunks, making it easier to start. Now, there's a common counter-argument we need to address. Some folks might say, isn't analysis paralysis just another term for laziness? But that's a misinterpretation. It's not about a lack of motivation, but a deeper psychological fear and negativity bias. The fear of making a wrong decision can be so intense that it leads to complete inaction. As for me, I've had my own battles with analysis paralysis. It's a journey, one that requires constant self-reflection and adjustment, but it's also a journey that's worth it. Because overcoming analysis paralysis isn't about being lazy or unmotivated. It's about understanding our brains and finding tailored strategies that work for us. So how can we break free from the shackles of overthinking and start taking action? Well, it starts with creating motivating micro goals. Instead of focusing on the overwhelming entirety of your task, break it down into digestible parts. Begin with the smallest, simplest step. This could be as simple as just opening your laptop or writing the first sentence of your report. The idea is to make the first step so easy that it's almost impossible not to do it. To uncover the root causes of your overthinking, consider journaling. Reflect on questions like, when I overthink, what's the worst case scenario I imagine? This can help you identify your fears and address them head on. And how about technology? There are numerous habit tracking apps and decision matrix templates designed to help you overcome analysis paralysis. Using tools like these can offer a fresh perspective and make decision making more manageable. But remember, you're not alone in this fight. Find an accountability partner. This could be a friend, a colleague, or even an online community. Share your goals with them and ask for their support. They can provide that much needed nudge when you're stuck in the whirlwind of overthinking. Finally, don't forget to share your strategies, your struggles, and your victories. Many successful people secretly battle analysis paralysis. By sharing your experiences, we can normalize this daily struggle and help each other grow. Remember, overcoming analysis paralysis is a journey, not a destination. But with the right tools and strategies, we can start making progress. But we don't have to tackle this issue alone. 
it's time to advocate for a fresh, nuanced approach to productivity challenges like analysis paralysis. Let's challenge the status quo in our workplaces and societies, pushing for the provision of mental health resources. Share your strategies to overcome overthinking. Let's learn from each other. I'm also launching a five-day challenge, where each day you'll practice taking one micro-action. Together we can turn the tide on analysis paralysis, take back our lives and seize the opportunities that come our way.